what's up what's up my good people welcome or welcome back it's your girl terry here if you don't know my name is terry elisefan elisefan is my dad's name for those people that don't know my fa my dad's first name okay and uh today is a very interesting day because i will be talking about uh, some of the questions that i've been getting on my dm and this is after me talking about my experience uh in transition of my career from civil engineer to a data analyst or you can say from civil engineering field to uh it industry and i have uh answered back to some of you um some of you i told you i will discuss in depth so that many people can benefit and not just few people okay so getting started uh in the usa can be tough you know for anyone uh, starting in a new country is not a walk in the park but you gotta you gotta know what you want to do and um so that you don't have to do the things that other people are doing like the way when i joined here some people are telling me i cannot make it on this career because it's more marketable to be uh in nursing field and you know what nursing is a calling uh, these know? people take care of uh other people you know you have to be empathetic you have to know how to socialize with people when i was learning here in the usa i knew i wanted to do or to pursue a different path and i knew that was to be it i didn't know specifically how to uh, approach that but i had done rough um like research on it when it comes to the usa uh this is in terms of uh the market in terms of the companies uh the schools but and then one day uh after landing like few weeks after landing in maryland i landed in state of maryland so i got this dm from facebook and uh this guy asked me hi i see you are new in the usa and say yeah um like how did you know me and uh we didn't have any mutual friend at all at all and that's why it is important guys do not look down on anyone sometimes don't like ignoring people can really cost you your blessings because this guy was meant to be my destiny connector um in connecting me to the school that uh, i would join that is the it school and he was like so you know people come here and waste a lot of time what are you thinking in mind what do you want to do and i said uh, i want to do it but i don't know where i'm gonna start but i know i have to start and he was like okay i remember going to a school with my friend but for me i did not finish uh as i opted to do business but my friend completed the school and he's doing so well if you don't mind i can give you his number and i will give you him your number so that you two can communicate and he can tell you about the school about uh the course and uh so you can make your decision okay so i said okay thank you so much and he gave me the number i talked to the guy he told me about this school it's a night school um uh, for data analytics and data science it's based in the dallas texas uh they have other branches like boston i don't remember the other one but for the main um the main office or the main school is in dallas texas so he told me, i called the school we told them told i asked them when is the next enrollment and they told me uh the time and i just asked him what about the payment they told me uh you will need to pay two thousand dollars so i had to work two jobs for me to save that money remember i am new in the usa i'm just getting started i don't know many people in the usa and i was in another state that is in uh, baltimore maryland you know so in maryland there is a chance for me to do uh online school you know 
and but i uh, but i just wanted to move to texas because one thing texas weather is very nice um and maryland that time it was winter and i don't like snow like that you know like that cold uh freezing no so i felt it's a good chance and also a good excuse for me to move to texas and i enrolled uh the school i paid uh for two thousand dollars um the school is called coraberry school of data analytics uh if you are outside uh the usa they cannot uh I, admit you in the school because you will need to have social security number for you to be admitted in that school so social security number is very important to them so that is the law for the rule for now but the thing with the it school is that there are so many resources there are so many uh websites that you can do this because even though i was uh in school in that school i also enrolled in other courses uh and also i was using youtube and google a lot um some of the website for the it field i can recommend um i can recommend udemy udemy is very nice they have a lot of instructors that you can choose from depending on the course that you want to do let's say you want to you do let's say power bi you know uh, like i mentioned there is so many things that you can do in it and the good thing with it is that you don't need to go like to university to pursue masters or to pursue degree you can start with a certification certificates that can take you from four weeks to around let's say six months at the maximum or it, it, you know this kind of uh, courses they are self-paced so if you are a busy person uh you having like to work a full-time job and you having to maybe two other jobs it can take you a long time for those people that uh come here they save a lot of money and then they stop working and concentrate on school they can finish with a few weeks so this is all about self-paced you can do as um as you can okay you can do as much as you can depending on how consistent and determined that uh, you are okay i hope you are together from there so um i delayed uh in school because um you know for me i was new in the it field and one thing i can say this school they don't look for the people that have the the it background even my school coraberry school of data analytics it did not check, look at me that oh you don't have it background we're not gonna take you no they say with no it background like i mentioned i was in a totally different uh path that is civil engineering so they have the best instructor and by the way this is not a promotion or, or anything like that no this is just answering the question that some of you ask because you know i i want to empower you when you come in here already you have an idea of what you want to do and so much so that you don't waste any time when you learn in the usa okay so the courses that um you do or some of the things that you can do on the when you take in data analytics every school is different um some they teach a, about excel they teach sql sql is structured uh query language uh you can do um ssis uh you can do ssrs uh power bi power bi is known for dashboarding creating the reports uh to drive the insights uh to the client or to the business so that they can make business uh informed decision so power bi is a powerful tool uh and uh it's a self-service business intelligence and right now the market is so high you can teach power bi yourself using the youtube and right now we have the ai that is uh that is uh saving people time that is chat uh P ptg <laughs> yeah so this one you can ask all the questions that you want uh one thing that i have to say is that um 
people especially for my for my country people in kenya they don't like to do a lot of research uh, and some of these things are readily available in the internet um there is always a thousand and thousand and thousand of youtube video people post every single week uh talking about the power bi talking about tableau talking about sql all those things and also you can buy from courses from udemy they cost as low as ten dollars uh especially when they have the offer you say that i'm gonna post those link uh on the comment box so you can see so udemy udemy we have udemy coursera what else um what else udemy coursera youtube uh is a great resource google is also a great resource and um what else Mm, I will post when I remember those other ones, but those are the main ones. So guys, I forgot to mention one crucial uh, information uh, about Corabere School. If you decide to join them, um, you have to understand that they have different stages. The first stage, which I mentioned that I paid for 2000, that is not the only amount that I, you can pay if you decide to progress with them. One thing you can notice is that uh, for the three month bootcamp, uh, the must completion three months bootcamp, it is like a, a basic for you to start uh, or kickstart your IT career. And that one you will uh, learn about SQL, uh, SSRS reporting, uh, SSA, SSIS is for the ETL solution, creating uh, the ETL solution, you know. And uh, this one you can get if you feel you are confident enough uh, and you want to get a job as a SQL developer or as ETL developer, you can go ahead. For me, I decided to com to continue with another uh, advanced level because this one, it had more opportunity to choose another tools and I chose a Power BI uh, developer. So for the Power, there are so many choices that you can choose from. You can choose Tableau, you can choose uh click view and click sense which is also marketable but and it pays very well you know so after choosing that one thing you have to note is that if you decide to sign up with them after the three month bootcamp you have to pay them uh not less than twelve thousand it's twelve uh for me i paid fourteen thousand and four hundred and um after getting a job they don't ask you to pay uh, before you get the job or when you're studying that um, but those one the fourteen hundred thousand fourteen thousand you will pay later after getting the job and you will pay in installment so for me i paid in 12 month installment i was paying two twelve hundred every single month until i completed all the payment okay so i thought i should share that is it is a no something i know most people think it's a lot of money but one they giving you the chance to complete your study before they ask you for the money and they giving you the chance to study without pressure of getting um where you're gonna pay for all those amount you know and you're gonna get a job where it's like the same level with those people in uh that are doing degree that they can be getting paid the same amount and they will add up with maybe the loans to pay like fifty thousand and above and for you you're getting only fourteen thousand that is a good deal and you know you're not paying it upfront all of it you're paying it after getting a job after getting a job but for the 2000 that i mentioned those one you pay um you pay before you start you know you have a chance of paying in two installment of uh, the first month and the second month but you have to pay with the interest of 50 dollars so you will end up paying 2050 dollars but if you decide to pay upfront you're gonna pay only 2000 those one is a must for you to pay the other one after finishing the three month bootcamp is the one that i'm talking about that you're gonna pay after getting a job and that's what i did you know yes 
I, I thought I should mention that so you don't think that school is only paying uh, 2000 There are a, lot, a number of other schools. I have seen some of them contact me and also some company they will tell you uh, we're going to teach you on this IT field. You're going to pay this amount up front. Others are going to be like, we're going to pay us, you're going to pay us 20% of your salary or yeah so it depends on which one you feel is good for you the reason i choose coraberry is because they will they have um they can employ you if you decide to work with them um they can give you internship until you feel comfortable that you can take any jobs and you can stay in internship as long as you can but you're gonna know that you'll be doing different project okay so yeah i thought i should mention that i hope this is helpful to someone please reach out to me for any other question so now how is it getting uh the job looking for a job how do you go about that after completing your study you know one you have to make sure that uh you create a great resume great resume uh in another in some country they refer that to cv or curriculum vitae so cv um you make sure that you um you create a professional cv make sure that you create profile there is a main uh is a main website or main site that you can get the jobs for the it and we have um indeed.com is a great resource uh we have linkedin linkedin it has all kind of uh professionals uh that you can get the job from and uh you have um uh, dice dice.com dice.com is also another uh website for the it where you can get the jobs okay so those are the main uh three places and also monsters monsters is also another thing so for me after completing the study and uh becoming serious uh with getting a job uh i got the the job i got my i did the first interview that i did is the one that i got a job you know the thing the difference is um when i interviewed with them the first time they call me uh they contacted me on linkedin and they told me we have seen your profile and we look like uh you are a fit person to come to our company and um i communicated with them give them my number they call me they said they said uh the first interview and then they kept quiet for like two months you know because th that position is like it was hold on hold for that time and then after some time i was i continued to interview with other companies because i'm like i don't know what they thinking so let me continue uh interviewing so by the time that um they get back to me to to do the final interview um i had done other interview but the company that i got the job for was the first company i ever interviewed with and i got two offers at the same time i received the job at two offers and it was so hard for me to choose so which company do i want so i had to do a lot of research uh to see which company is good and so on and so forth so you see uh it jobs are very available we have a lot of opportunity and you have uh the chance to work from home because for me i work from home right now yes. what and i can tell africans if you are african and you're watching this i see we work with a lot of indians you know a lot of them they are in the IT field they work for companies in the USA uh, and they stay all the way in India so one I can tell you is that study this course go to Udemy go to YouTube this thing if you are determined if you are consistent and you know what you want you can finish complete the, the studies if you want to be guided i'm here i can guide you okay so in, in kenya you can still do that my school the one i went it cannot uh, take 
someone who don't have a social but there are other ways like i mentioned there is coursera there is udemy you can buy yourself courses there and then uh do like microsoft uh certification or whichever tools that you choosing you know and after that go and create your linkedin profile linkedin profile uh i'm gonna also post the link you 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 make sure that your linkedin profile is good is looking professional it and has five style like you when someone comes in your linkedin they will be impressed by your profile so that is the main thing that people miss there uh, they don't um, do like a professional um, profile in LinkedIn. You have to put like the school, uh, the professional summary, the company that you have been working for, you know. And after that, uh, the recruiter will come to you looking for you. For me, I did not have to go looking for many jobs, like for the company there. The, the recruiter came to me. Uh, I worked with them. Uh, I applied in uh, in other companies other than a recruiter contacting me in, on LinkedIn or Dice. But the main uh, recruiter that uh, I interacted with or I still interact with, they come from LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is very important. So in even when where you're from right now, if you are in Kenya, if you are in Uganda, Ghana, Nigeria, wherever you are, do those courses it will not take you a lot of time i know uh time is tough right now but you can get a job uh you can work remotely from where you're from somebody can employ you uh from canada from uk from usa and you can choose what uh which company you want to work from uh the pay is good i'm not gonna tell you the exact amount that i get but the pay is good it's uh, something that you will really appreciate you know you will feel the difference okay yeah so i hope i was able to give you uh, a brief about that because um i have been getting those questions i thought i have to bring this up and by the way before i forget uh there is this course called cyber security do you know some companies are paying for uh, to train people so that they can employ them so these courses for the it is very marketable uh depend on what you are analytical person you like uh coding uh you like presenting like for if you like if you do like tableau or power bi you're gonna be presenting to um to the client or to the business owner or to the stockholder if that is your line if i can do it you can do it guys me i you Used to be a very shy girl like who couldn't um talk in front of people um to present <laughs> something and i i i lie now i i do it comfortably you know because it all take uh practice it takes practice practice and no one is perfect most of if the skills are learned and can be practiced until you perfect it okay i hope this video was awesome to you and you liked it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think if you have any other question for other careers uh maybe i can bring some people in those careers but let me know your wish is my command and i'm always here for you i we are on journey to 10,000 subscriber please make that happen for me as we work in this journey yay thank you